Wouldn't it be great if you really knew why people are landing on your site and then they're just clicking away? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how you can ask them by creating a WordPress survey pop-up. Be sure to check out the links that we've left in the description, hit that subscribe button and a notification bell, and be part of the conversation. There are a lot of reasons why a WordPress pop-up survey can help your business. For example, you can discover how visitors are interacting with your site. You can figure out potential problems that are getting in the way of conversions, leads, and sales. You can get real-time feedback from visitors and customers. You can reduce abandonment and increase conversions by interacting with your visitors right before they leave your site. You can segment your visitors for future marketing, and you can use pop-ups for growing your email list. Now, if you'd like to know the best practices, see sample questions, get details about building the best online survey and more, then be sure to check out the links that we've left in the description. Now, the best way to create an online survey in WordPress is to combine the power and flexibility of WP Forms and Optin Monster. WP Forms is an easy-to-use drag-and-drop form builder. It allows you to create all kinds of forms. It stores the data, integrates with other applications, and can send immediate notifications and more. Optin Monster, on the other hand, can help you create attractive pop-up surveys. It has a wide variety of themes and templates. It lets you determine who sees the pop-up, when they see it, and where it shows up on your site, and a whole lot more. Now, to create today's pop-up survey, you'll need to have installed WP Forms on your WordPress site and have a pro-level license or higher, and installed the survey add-on. And you'll also need to have installed the WordPress Optin Monster plugin and have a pro-level subscription or above. Now, don't worry, we're going to leave links in the description for each of these, along with simple step-by-step -step instructions so you can get started quickly. Once you've installed the plugin and the add-on is activated, you can get started. So to begin, let's just go to our WordPress admin sidebar. And then we're going to hover our mouse over WP Forms and then click Add New. Now at the top of the page, you'll want to enter a name for your form. Now you'll see a list of pre-made form templates, so you'll need to click on Survey Form. Now once the form builder loads, you'll see the default survey form on the right side of your screen. And there are field choices on the left. The default form includes a name and email field, as well as several common survey questions. Now, you can hover your mouse over any group of survey fields to move them around or delete them. And you might also want to remember to save your progress occasionally as you go along. Now, if you want emails collected to integrate with your email marketing software, you can just go to the left-hand side and click on Marketing, and then enable one of the email marketing integrations. For this tutorial, we're just going to use Constant Contact by clicking on the logo. Next, we'll click on Add New Connection and give the connection a name. Then click Save, and then the page will fill with your integration data. Now just choose a list and then select the form fields that you'd like to match with your Constant Contact account and click Save. Next, click Embed to bring up the code that you're going to paste in Optin Monster to create your survey pop-up. Now here's how you do it. To create the survey pop-up, just log into your Optin Monster dashboard and click Create New Campaign. Next, you'll need to choose a campaign type, so you'll need to choose Pop-Up. That way, they won't miss your survey. Now, you want to choose a theme for the campaign, so you'll need to scroll down and select Canvas, so you can insert the code from the WP Form survey that you just created. Then, give your campaign a name and choose the website that you want your survey to load on, and then click the Start Building button. Now, once the page loads, you'll need to grab the embed shortcode from the survey that you just created in WP Forms and then go back to your Optin Monster campaign builder. Now, click on Blocks on the left hand menu. Next, you'll want to select the large rectangle and just drag and drop the block from the left hand editing tools to your live preview. Then, you'll need to do the same thing and add the HTML element to your campaign. Now, just paste the survey shortcode into the HTML block. If you want to add any other text, you can also put it there. Now, we've added some introductory text, so our form will have a friendly tone. Now, don't worry, the survey will pop up once the campaign is live on your site. All right, now don't forget to save the campaign. Optin Monster allows you to configure when your survey appears and who sees it. Now, let's go to the Display Rules tab at the top of the page. Now, on this page, you'll notice that you're on the Conditions tab. And you'll see that the time on page and current URL path is any page rules are enabled by default. Now, this ensures that anyone who's been on any page on your site for a short while will see your campaign. Now, you'll want to change that and set it to on exit intent. Now, this is going to detect when people are about to leave your site and it will show your pop-up at precisely the right time to grab their attention and stop them from leaving. 
Now, we'll leave a link in the description so you can learn more about setting up page-specific pop-ups and how to trigger pop-ups on click. Next, you have the option to set the exit intent sensitivity to low, medium, or high. Now just click on the Next Step button or the Actions tab at the top of the page. Now this page allows you to determine what happens next, so we'll leave the first field set to Opt-in. Then we'll set the Monster Effect to Bounce. And then we'll set the Play Sound Effect to Ping. When you've completely finished editing your survey pop-up, then you'll need to go to the Publish tab and make your campaign live. And you'll see that you also have other options as well, like you can embed your campaign on any site by using the code or you can publish it on Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce by sharing a link or by enabling Monster Link and click to load by following the instructions just beneath each one. Now you can tweak your display settings even more with the Edit Output Setting button. Now from there, you can configure who sees your survey, exclude certain pages from triggering the pop-up, have it load only on certain pages or certain categories and more. Now once you finish, just click Save Settings to make your changes live. Now here's how your final WordPress survey pop-up will look. Once you start getting responses, you can view them in your WordPress dashboard. And that's it. Now you know how to deliver exactly what your visitors want and begin improving your conversions, leads, and sales. So why not use Optin Monster and instantly start growing your email list, start getting more leads, and increase your sales? To get a special discount, check out the link in the description and to discover more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and data analytics techniques, click one of the videos that's on your screen now.